That's homebrew. Coming at you. With a beer review, of course. We've got one from Jim. Thank you, Jim. And this one right here, this is the, we'll get it up in your face. This is the anniversary Saison from Upright Brewing out of Portland, Oregon. A good local brew. Yeah. It's hopped with Cascade and aged in gin barrels with apricots. And then they go on and they put these in wine casts, several wine casts, I think three types they say. And then at the end, when they blend it back together, they put in 10% of fresh beer uh, to brighten up the flavor. So this sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna get this one cracked open and give it a try. It's got that light, like a uh, apricot to golden colors. Yeah, you know, pretty golden. Um, maybe a little bit of orange in it. Yeah. Nice white head. Um, like tight bubbles. Yep. 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 Two fingers ahead. Um, yeah. Let's let's get sorry. the nose in there. Let's no go for it. Let yeah. It. Oh my God. First thing was maybe a hint of gin. I yeah, yeah. You do. That. Just a. Mm. Mm. There's the apricots and the the wine barrels that they use too. I gotta throw in. You you mentioned that gin. You both did, and I got this like like I want to say like a spritz of like a Seven Up scent on there yeah. somehow. It was like a. Just this nice sweetness with this like effervescentness along with that gin. And I think that might be coming from the apricot, but do you get yeah. that at all? Am I crazy no, or what? No, not at all. Yeah, I get that. And you get and now you get a little bit of the bite of the sour off this yeah. as well. Oh, you, yeah. you know it's there. Oh yeah, there it is. That's uh that's neat. The <laughs> yeast they use in this, I use think they use a little bit of Brett as well. Yeah. And uh so uh, you're gonna get just a little bit of that, you know, uh, yeah. sour bite or whatever yeah. you want to call yeah. that. There's almost like a hint of some kind of spice. I don't know if it's the gin or what, but I don't know how to describe it yet. I can't place it, but. And the light sweetness from the apricot, though, I mean, it's just. Oh yeah. So there. Did you get a hint of the grassiness at all? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. just lightly there. That yeah. light sour, you get the wheat essence off of it, but. Yeah. This is beautiful. I say cheers. Let's cheers. let's dive cheers. in, guys. Let's do it. Wow, that's fun. But I'm gonna I'm gonna just jump out and get crazy here. For a second there, I got this flavor that made me at the very beginning think of eggnog. I don't know why. Huh. It just gave me that taste. And maybe that's because you get like that nutmeg and the sweetness at the beginning. It's like there's a little bit of spice, you said. Maybe, yeah, maybe nutmeg is uh, the spice. I thought you guys said nutbag. <laughs> <laughs> nutbag? Well, Christian's not here with us today. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, I, I do definitely smell the nutmeg. Uh, <laughs> nutbag. nutbag. <laughs> and, you know, he's like miles from here. Um, nutmeg on here. That, that's yeah. That's... Interesting. Yeah. I almost got a hint of a, almost like a pepperiness, but I'm not sure if it's really a peppery no, type thing. I think but you're right on. Yeah. A lot of little subtle things going on there. There are. There's a whole lot of, you know, we're going to take some time with this and we're going to come back with some final thoughts and some ratings. Well, folks, you got to take a look. I mean, there's some nice lacing on this glass. It really is a pretty beer. We've been yeah. sipping for a while and look at the head that persists. You know, I can swirl this a little bit and you see the head building back. It really is a beautiful beer. Um, Jim's mentioned, I think he thought the seven is probably better. That yeah, the upright seven is like probably my favorite saison. Ever, okay. So nice, nice. But this is so unique with that gin, right? I think we all agree. Yeah. yeah. It just it adds this different element that's very unusual for most beers. You don't hear about things aging on like gin barrels. Yeah. And. There's some persistent spiciness in this. You get the yeah. pepper, a little bit of nutmeg, but I think the pepper is almost stronger at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, you get the, that apricot, but it's a light, light, sweet apricot. In yeah. It that just barely touches it, but you, yeah, you know it it's on there. The upper, it yeah. sits on the upper bubbles and yeah. effervescence, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of that might be a touch of oak in that from, from the barrels, but I'm definitely That's getting true. gin. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. when you think about that, that smoothness that comes, the undertone smoothness, yeah. is probably coming from the oak for sure. Um, and they put it, they say they put it in wine casks, so it, it's almost like you, you're getting like some place between like a, 
a Pinot Gris, Chardonnay kind of undertone coming in on nice. this. And possibly yeah. like Riesling, right? Yeah, yeah, it, it does. Because I had a lot of Riesling at my friend's winery. and um, it, it, Poor it, guy was stuck at a winery. Oh, man, it was now. horrible, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But you do get some of that oak character. So it's it's a very unique beer, fun beer for yeah. sure. Um, I can see why they would take something like this and make it an anniversary beer. I haven't rated a saison. It seems like in a little while, but uh, all right. You, either of you got any ideas on how you would like to rate this as a saison? Style. Give it to ninety-five. I mean, it's just a world-class beer, well, almost a world-class beer. Right in that, right in that range. Yeah. Yeah. I I gotta go like. 90 or 91 just because I think of because he's spoiled all, yeah exactly <laughs> I, I live in Portland man so, <laughs> it's, it's awesome yeah yeah so. yeah yeah I don't want to hear it. <laughs> not to rub it in <laughs> but you know I'm kind of with both of them I'm kind of in between because I think this has some really great and unique qualities that gin really just makes it something special it really does yeah, something yeah, different it does uh the pepper bite but that nutmeg that i got that's what's that about i mean come on this is a fun beer mm. i think for style i'm gonna give it a 93 that uh, was really close to 94 really good beer all right what do you guys think for overall all styles of beer where would you put this one i give it a 95 again it's just mm. it's one of the best beers i've had for the saisons but yeah very nice Overall, I'm going down just a pair, maybe a 90. Just, I love it, but it's it's not blowing my skirt up yeah, yet. Jim, Jim, Jim and I are right <laughs> on par there for the two. I'm going to say the same thing, actually. I was thinking exactly a 90. Um, I put it right on that borderline of very good and excellent. Mm -hmm. This is definitely a fun beer. So here it is. This is the anniversary Saison. We believe it's the fifth anniversary for Upright Brewing out of Portland, Oregon. A wonderful, wonderful beer. Folks, if you can't get this one, definitely try something from Upright. They're a fantastic brewery and make yes, some wonderful are. stuff. <laughs> this is Kevin Clements Homebrew saying, life's too short to drink cheap beer, and we will all see you in the next beer review. Cheers.